he's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. What's up? This what? is Taste, <laughs> where we sample the trends that shape and define culture. What's up, y'all? I'm Blaine. And I am Malcolm. <laughs> and I am Tyus Ty here. What are we talking about today? My guess is, let's look around, um, cartons. Cartons? What cartons? Just, just milk? Or, mm. or eggs? Or eggs? <laughs> I'm gonna say, bring in cabins. Nah, but Lincoln Longs. Mm. That's where you led me. <laughs> you never played with Lincoln Longs? Uh, nah, I have, but I was. Uh, We've had surprises before. Minimalism. No, no waste. waste. Oh my god. Gosh! That was close. That was close. Minimalism is a movement uh, amongst all generations of people, and it's kind of the push to get rid of all of the stuff we've accumulated. Can we have the research the device? The research device, sir. What is it? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I'm, I'm wondering if this is like minimalism to the next level. Like, if I'm using toilet paper, you are wrong. Well, I'm gonna use it again. <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> Beginner's Guide to Zero <laughs> Waste Living. Psst. It doesn't happen overnight. <gasps> uh, that's more, I think it's a PS. They just forgot to capitalize the Word, S. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I kind of, like, I like, like the whisper. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> if you try and make that significant of a life change happen immediately, chances are it won't stick. That's uh, a lot going on. YouTube. YouTube. A week, a week in, in my zero waste life. Yo, I get it. Here's what zero waste living Take is. Take us away, Ty. It's where you literally do not throw away anything. So you <laughs> you, so wrong. you redesign your life around <laughs> producing zero waste. There's so much to say about our overconsumption. Basically, we live in a life where popularity and how things look are obviously more important mm -hmm. than the necessities. People have told me that we're moving to an era where psychologically now we think about things more mm -hmm. because we're, we're not having to harvest our own food anymore. So it's like we're able to do things much more advantageous such as wear different clothes, buy more things in our house, mm. rather than just having the necessities. So consumer culture definitely is, I would say, kind of a negative depending on how you deal with it. Do you think um, it's kind of controlled with like couponing where it's like forcing you to buy a lot more if you save, technically? I think that's part of it. I think overall just our society and our economic system mm -hmm. is kind of designed around Let's convince people that they need more and more and more stuff. Mm -hmm. And when they're done with it, you know, if, if their TV breaks, how many of you guys have ever repaired a TV that's broken? No, you throw it away and get a new one. Yep, yep. And that it's is because outdated. our consumerist culture has, has been telling us that that's how we should live. Absolutely. And, you know, statistically, if every country on the earth consumed as much energy as the United States did, it would take three Earths to power the amount. So, so like what we didn't remind you is that Ty's not actually a science say, major and knows everything. The take, amount that we are consuming, I want you to hear this. Take we are time. consuming too much. And consuming is not just eating food. It is energy. Mm. It is trash. It is everything. toilet paper. You gotta just fold it twice, okay? If you're crumpling up your toilet paper, <laughs> you are responsible. <laughs> I'm responsible. It's you <laughs> and us. So we to conclude, yes, it. we are. I think minimalism and zero waste is a really beautiful movement, and it's people that are passionate about preserving the Earth's natural resources. Absolutely, I could be a minimalist. What about you guys? It would be hard, but if I really put my mind to it, I, f I feel like I can. Yeah. You know. As long as I had like running water and electricity, I feel like I'd be okay. My mom, my mama ain't doing no minimalism. <laughs> she, no. Mm -mm. My mom is definitely, uh, what, what she, she mom? can't do it. My mom is the same. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad but actually, that's the world that we live in. You but know? we love them. We love them. My parents watched a, a minimalism documentary and it ended in my dad was like, we've got to do this. <laughs> and my mom was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so. As we learn more about global warming and, and the environment, I think minimalism will continue growing, people just being passionate about the cause. I fully agree. There you go. I feel the same. All right, y'all. So put down your comments. Could you be a minimalist? And if so, how far? Also, just know that Ty's coming for you if you're a crumpler and not a folder. So but leave a comment and let us know. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>